pre-season coming along so far, Rob? Well, it's been fantastic. It's uh, We've been probably nearly seven weeks going and uh, it's been a great education, not only for the players, but also for um, the coaches, learning how Mick Malthouse wants to uh, uh, play the play the game here. So, um, you know, it's it's been a real a real good time of education and, uh, and the players have... Uh, really grasped that. Their attitude's been fantastic. Um, they're meeting every challenge so far. Um, so from a coaching point of view, it's, it's certainly been a, a good pre-Christmas session. From a training perspective, Rob, what's been the, uh, I guess, the biggest focus, the biggest difference compared to this time last year? Well, I wasn't here this time last year. Um, all I know is that um, it's about education, you know, about the way we want to play football. Uh, here at Carlton and certainly under Mick Malthouse how we want to play football so um, you know there's been a lot of sessions of, of education you know uh, both um, on the lecture board and also out on the track and, uh, and and also vision so you know it's a combination of all those things that uh, you know we're teaching the players and the sooner that they can grasp it then obviously you know the sooner that we'll play some pretty good football so um, so that, that's been the focus really the education of, of the playing group and the coaching group too. Have they embraced some of the new game plans? The They've been fantastic style. yep uh, they, they've embraced it, they've taken, met every challenge, um, they've trained with intensity, um, they've trained to try and do what uh, Mick's been asking of them. So um, as I said, it's, it's been a big tick for the players, they, they've um, certainly uh, given it everything they've got so far. And, and we've still got a, a way to go, there's no doubt about that, you, know, you don't learn that overnight, it takes quite a while. What have been the main teaching points, Rob? Well, if I told you the main teaching points, then we'd be giving away our game plan. But it's certainly, uh, you know, about defence. It's about moving the football. Um, it's about really trusting, trusting each other because, you know, in any good team, there's a huge trust factor. And, uh, and that's certainly the way we've been going about it. When you first got here, what were the, some of the things you thought that had to be addressed first up? Um, getting to know what Mick Malthouse wants. Uh, that, that's the first thing from my point of view uh, because... You know, it starts from the top and, and we've, we've got to educate the players, we've got to educate ourselves because if we're all on the same page, then it's easy going forward. So you've reunited with him after a, a few years apart. Um, has he changed much in his approach at all? Um, he's changed slightly, but you know, what's given him success before with other teams, um, he's introducing that here at Carlton. So, um, and, and that's a lot of discipline, a, a lot of hard work, um, and working together, you know, it's, it's about being a team and, um, you know, you can't win games of football if there's only 18 contributors. It's about everyone contributing and everyone playing their role. Um, and, you know, as I said, that, that hasn't changed the way, they, the way Mick's gone about it. I think everyone's uh, pointed those three out. Um, there are five, five players in the leadership group and uh, the captain and vice captain, etc., will come from those leadership uh, from those leadership players. So you know, it's it's an important decision, and it's not going to be one that's going to be taken lightly. You know, we'll, um, as a match committee, a coaching group, will certainly let that unfold. And uh, in, in many ways, you know, they'll pick themselves. Have you had to hold the guys back a bit that were injured at the start of the year? Cause they look like they're bitten firing out there. Have you had to pull them back a bit to say, look? Yep. You, you look like you really want to get out there and play for you now, but pull them back a bit to make sure they're right for next yeah, year. Yeah, footy's about management, and footy's over a long period of time. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So, you know, the one thing I have noticed at Carlton is that they've got a great sports science uh, faculty, and, you know, every player is treated on their merits. So, yes, some, some players look like they're, they're ahead of schedule, um, but it's also about making sure that they, they come in at the right time. But, you know, they, they're, still, they're still learning the way we want to play. They're just doing their different types of training. Does Mick pick the captain or there will be a vote? Uh, it'll, it'll be uh, certainly players putting their feedback in. Um, in the end, it's, it's a combination of both, uh, both the players and the coaches and, and Mick's uh, certainly will have that final say. And you obviously reunited with the former captain, uh, Chris Judd, you know him pretty well. Uh, yeah. How do you expect uh, the stepping down from the captaincy will benefit him next yeah. year? Oh, look, Chris will play exactly the same role as he's done ever since he's, he started playing football. You know, he leads by example and uh, you can't ask for any more. I think, you know, um, you'll see Chris Judd and he's training wonderfully well at the moment. Um, that He'll just play exactly the way he's played in the past. So it's a, it's a bonus having another leader. I overheard you speaking to the fans on the microphone last week and you said that even Chris Judd would be looking to develop his game. Yeah. Uh, what areas do you identify, Rob? 
Uh, it's about Chris identifying some areas that he wants to improve in too. You know, coaching is about working with the with the player and development. You know, it's about working with the player. It's not sometimes about the coach saying what should be happening because you know, again, when you know you can come together with you know whatever that is, it's a, it's a stronger learning curve. So, um, you know, Chris has got a, a, and he'd be the first one to say he's got a number of things that he'd like to continue working on, um, but. Nothing specific at the moment. You've spoken about getting the scoreboard a bit more in the past. Is that something still you'd like to see improve? Well, you know, any club needs to be able to improve their goal kicking efficiency. You know, we've seen many games won or lost. Uh, and I suppose in, in many respects, the grand final last year was won or lost on, on hitting the scoreboard and, and being um, really efficient in that area. So that's just a, one of the facets that we will continue to work on. And, and certainly, you know, Carlton players need to, when they get the opportunity, kick their goals. Just a word on Jeremy Laidler, he's obviously running yep. pretty well. He got yeah. knee troubles last year. It's pretty... I think in the, in the past, there's a number of players that haven't had a pre-season here at Carlton. And, you know, uh, Jeremy, you know, with his knee injuries, um, we couldn't be happier with the way he's, he's gone about his business. And, you know, he's a quality player and he's a good leader. Um, gives great instruction on, on the field. So having him out there with the younger players is, is really important. So again, you know, um, that was mixed message that when he came here that he, he wanted to make the squad healthy so that we have uh, lots of opportunities and options when we're picking a side. So um, Simon White's another player that's, you know, had sort of, I don't think he's had a pre-season in the three years he's been here. So, you know, they're all pluses for the Carlton Footy Club. They're, you know, the up-and-coming younger players or, or middle-range players that, uh, you know, they're getting a good pre-season behind them and it, that all goes well. This is the, the rock combination. Can, can Hampson, Warnock and Cruz be in the same team? I'm sure they can. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm sure they can. I think the the one good thing about those three players that you mentioned, they're all athletic, they're mobile, um, and you know, uh, obviously in the past you, you just have to look at the way mixed select sides that you know that those three players can certainly play in, in the one side. And you know, we mentioned you know about White and Laidler before, but you know Warnock's another player um, that's you know hasn't played much footy here at Carlton. Um, and the pleasing thing is the way he's gone about his pre-season. Um, he's taking on all before him, so I think that's you know something that Carlton supporters um, can get really excited about. You know, someone of the skill and the athleticism of a, uh, of a Robbie Warner. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm probably in a number of roles, but certainly uh, you know supporting Mick in every way, and also supporting the other coaches. You know, I'm, I suppose I'm lucky. I've had a fair amount of experience in both uh, footy and coaching. Uh, so, you know, whatever I can help in their development, not only players but in coaches, um, I'll certainly be uh, going in that area. But also looking after midfield, um, and that's a really exciting time too because you know you have a look at the quality of midfielders they have here at Carlton. Uh, you know, I can't wait to continue working with them.